What's up Team Buckhouse, Jonathan Buckhouse here. And in today's video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to get air outside of the half pipe on your toe side and your heel side edge. Now there isn't a specific trick that I feel like you need to know how to do before trying to get air in the half pipe. But obviously being able to leave the ground and come back down on your snowboard is gonna be crucial. But also the very, very basic understanding of a half pipe. When you go on the toe side wall, you go on your toes and you come down on your toes. If you go on the heel side wall, you go up on your heels, you go down on the heels. Once you got that dialed in you're ready to start trying to go to the top of this thing and come down now one major thing that people do in the half pipe which is going to get them hurt the bigger and bigger they get is they get to the top and then they pop they jump and they push away from the wall you don't want to do that on a air we're going to start with toe side airs you're going to be coming in nice and low you're going to be squatting you're going to be going up the wall and as you get to the very top of the wall you kind of just stand up you know you kind of do a little bit of this, not a push. You just go from crouch position to standing up. And that's the half pipe is gonna then give you the air. And then once you get in the air, you can retract your knees and do a grab. You can do a shifty, but we're not pushing against the wall. Now, the other thing with getting air is our trajectory. We need to be going down the half pipe. The half pipe is constantly going down. And when we take an air, we wanna go up, down the pipe. We don't wanna be going up, and then straight down. That's not how you ride a half pipe. So that means your trajectory on the pipe needs to be angled. You know, you don't need to be going straight up the pipe and then straight back down, unless that's a trick you're trying to do. But we're gonna be coming in at a slight angle. This angle is giving us our trajectory down the pipe, but it's also helping us maintain or gain speed. So if you lost your speed on your last heel side hit, you can then have a more aggressive angle, which is gonna allow you to pick up more speed and allow you to shoot further down the pipe. Same thing on the heels. We're not going straight at it on our heel side wall. We're kind of going at that slight angle, bending in our knees. And then as we go up, we just slightly stand up, which is gonna allow us to really get that air and then come back down. We're not pushing, especially if you're at the top and you push, you're gonna fall depending on the size of your pipe. This is an 18 foot pipe behind me, 18 feet to the bottom. And that's gonna suck. It's gonna feel Horrible. Now evolution stickers help you get more air in the pipe. Those are linked in the description. And if you have any other questions about half pipe riding, please comment those down below. And I will do my best to answer those questions for you. But with that team of chaos, that is how you air out on a half pipe. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you guys tomorrow in another video because it's daily on this snowboard channel. We do stuff like this daily. daily.